at the end of the day, I don't think they'll go there. I don't think they can. They're in a box. They are in a box where they've got to choose between a mentally incompetent president and a DEI vice president, and they know that they're going to be facing a problem either way. Now, I know that you all want to read a loser when a loser says a thing, so I'm just going to let you comment on what you think about those words. <laughs> Again, uh, you know what? I want people to listen to them. If you just listen to what they say, it will tell you everything that you need to know. Number one, you can obviously see that he's ignorant as all get out. And number two, you can see that he wishes he had half the competency of, of Vice President Kamala Harris. Don't talk to me about what a DEI hire looks like, because we know that you have never, ever engaged in diversity, equity, or inclusion when it came to your office. So we know that you don't know anything about hiring diversity. Diversity. But let me tell you one of the real facts about diversity in this country. We're missing out on trillions of dollars in GDP, and they can go and check the receipts if they want to because we have the rogue governors coming out of the state of Texas that are anti-DEI. We've got the rogue governor in Florida and so forth. And so what they need to do is get over their incompetence and just try to get on our level and decide that they're going to compete and start to come up with actual policies instead of going after people because because of how they look or how they were born. Instead, they need to focus on taking care of the American people, which means that you're gonna take care of people other than just white folk. It means that you take care of brown, Hispanic, Asian, and everyone. We can always count on this particular freshman to keep it real and tell it like